all you need to do is you're going to know what side is the top. If you really want to, you can make a little X on the back. You can use either side, but it's just so you know. So the reason why I like to put front side to front side, the front side's called the felt side, is because I want to have the snap on the back. Now it's not going to happen too much with the 140, it happens more with the 300. And I can show you that in just a second. But we're going to go ahead. If you weren't looking at the watermark, would you be able to tell? The surface is a little smoother. So On which side? On the but it really doesn't matter. You can paint really on either side. I just what want you to know. The, the, the top side, the felt side. The felt side. Mm -hmm. Now to tear the paper, I'm going to show you this little thing here. We're just going to go ahead and start it like that. A little tear, just like that. And then you could take it to the edge of the table. And then you would just constantly apply pressure on the edge of the table and tear. Mm -hmm. But a really easy way of doing this is we're going to pinch the paper isn't that easy look at that sound of relief okay this class is totally worth it and it works with 300 I will show you that yes so I'm gonna I, the reason why I'm tearing this paper down is because I'm going to show you an exercise I just but you need to start that tear okay and I'm pinching the paper I'm going like this my thumbs in the back any or you can however you need to pinch it and you don't need to go just go like that and it's the angle let's do the 300 just so you see I get it from either Dick Blick or Cheap Joe's or whoever's got the best price. Yeah. Okay, so again, I'm looking for the watermark. Okay, and that side's a little rougher. I'm just going to line it up. I'll move this over to the side. See how we go. Just line it up. And depending on how much moisture, like if you live in a dry environment, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about because the paper can snap. Okay, but here we're on the coast, so it doesn't snap so much. Then I'm just going to work that seam a little bit. You know, a lot of people like to wet it and then they tear it. The re why I don't like to do that is I don't want to accidentally have some pigment on my brush or in the water. Okay. Now do you see how it's starting to work a little bit? It's starting to get a little... Yeah. Okay. Then I... The what? Oh. Clean hands, of course. I hope mine are. They should be. <laughs> okay, so I just want that little tint. I should have started it right there. We don't need to hit it hard. Just fix the angle, and then when you're down here, just finish tearing it. There you go. Isn't that nice? So we'll save that for painting, and then we'll go back, use this for one of our demonstrations.